Hey everybody, it's Steve, and welcome to day eight of the 12 days of savoring. I've got a wait, and I've got another wait, and I can't wait for Christmas. Because I love this time of the year, I love this season, but you know what else? I'm also sad. Deep inside, I miss people, and I miss loved ones, and maybe you do too. I don't know what might make this season difficult at times, but I want to offer you some strength. And it comes from savoring. I know you thought that to savor was a soft skill. It isn't. It can make you strong. And I'll show you how. First of all, you savor the people around you and you will get stronger. Savor the strong people. See them and reach out to them. There are people in your life who are not only wonderful counselors, but they are really rock-solid, mature, grounded people. And some of them even have the resources to help you through your situation. And you, you might need to humble yourself and ask for help. You know, the people who love you are in your corner they have so many gifts, but mind reading is not one of them. So see them and reach out to them and be grateful that there are people, whether they're professionals or whether they're personal friends and family, they're people who are in your corner. Reach out. So look around you and savor the people around you, but look above you and savor the God who is in your corner. The Messiah, Isaiah said, would be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And Mighty God is the Hebrew phrase El Gibor. El is a prefix meaning God, Elohim. And Gibor is a word that means mighty, strong. It's a military word. It's used of soldiers. It's used of those who are mighty in ba battle, who are valiant, who are loyal, the, the Giborim were David's mighty men. And when he was running for his life, hiding in the caves, the Giborim were loyal and they, they fought for him. The king's royal guard, the king's secret service, his elite forces, his special forces, these are the Giborim. El Gibor is a mighty God and he is in your corner. He not only is a wonderful counselor who gets you and is in your corner to empathize and to give you wisdom, he will get you the breakthrough you need, but you need to reach out to him. He says, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? And Jesus said, with man, this would be impossible, but with God, nothing is impossible. Reach out to him. Not only should you look around you and look above you, you should look within you. Because you know something? You have more strength than you give yourself credit for. You have survived so much. You are here to tell the story because there's strength inside you, resilience. Someone has said that anyone who has survived childhood has enough stories to write a book. And you've survived childhood and more. So reflect on your story. Reflect on the hard times and what you overcame. Reflect on what you learned. And hold on to those truths and those experiences because they'll get you through what you are facing now. So look all around you, look above you, and look within you for your sources of strength. Hey, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? I'd like to encourage you all year long. So why don't you do that? And is there somebody else who could benefit from these words of encouragement? If so, it would be great if you would share the, this video with them. I'm pulling for you. I'm in your corner. And I'll see you at our next video on day nine of the 12 days of savoring. Take care of yourself.